Today we're here as young change makers to gather together, reflect on what we can do to help influence black mental health services in the UK. It's a really important weekend where we're going to be discussing loads about kind of the challenges and problems we're seeing within mental health services, but then really importantly what we can do to, to change and tackle some of those problems. We're here to talk about what we've learned and what that means for the future of mental health services for young black people going forward. We're here to basically run the workshops and get the young people thinking about what mental health services could look like in the future and having an amazing dream that hopefully will be realised one day. I believe we need to um, leave a legacy behind to let other young people like myself know that there are those platforms that will take you forward and will actually turn your um, voice into actionable plans. One thing I think would make the biggest difference to black mental health is early intervention support. I think that being there at the beginning stages of mental health crises and rather than at the end would make such a difference in so many people's lives. I'd say that we need more youth spaces. I think that in the past there have been youth clubs and places for young people to congregate but a lot of the time we're seeing issues with knife crime and gang crime because young people don't have spaces so that they can call their own. One thing that I think will make the biggest difference to black mental health in a large scale would be tackling it at the roots of the course. I think that the change needs to be driven by black people for black people. Black people and people from racialized communities need to be included in those decision-making steps to ensure that the change is sustainable and accurate for like what they need. I think the like main difference would be having more black psychologists, black psychiatrists, black uh, mental health nurses within mental health services. They're actually looking for like black men in particular as well. So I think if we are able to get more of those people within these positions support that will really help anyone who's struggling to be able to have culturally competent services. More mental health organisations being open to have black youth in those decision makings that affect them. I think that would help a lot. It's about co-production so you're actually getting the answers from those that need the help. One thing that I'll be able to take away from Young Change Makers is the support I've gained and the knowledge of support systems that are in place for young black people. I really want the ideas and thoughts to be realised to actually come out in policy and for the government to take action because mental health services and mental health support is really important. I think the one thing I will take away is that there is always someone out there that is willing to listen to you. You just need to find that person. Often when people come into mental health work, they often think it's going to be really horrible. Every time they do this sort of work, they're going to come away so emotionally drained and just like not feeling good. But I actually want to say that you can have like positive, really energizing conversations about these topics. Black Joy exists and we can come together as a community and have really fun, interesting conversations that are really important and will help when it comes to services.